This video covers parallel and perpendicular gradients of linear lines, an important concept in the IB Maths AI course found in Topic 2 Functions under the subtopic of Linear Equations and Graphs. Okay, there are two important concepts to understand and remember here. Let's firstly start with parallel lines. So parallel lines, you can see here with these two green lines, line one and line two, they are parallel to each other, which means that they never get closer to each other or never get further apart. Think, think train tracks, they are just always the same distance apart uh, at all times. Now the relationship between their gradients is that they are equal to each other. So pretty easy one to remember there. The gradient of line one, let's say it was two just for argument's sake, will be the same as the gradient for line two. So they will also have a gradient of two. Okay, let's now talk about perpendicular lines. So these two purple lines here are examples of perpendicular lines. They meet at a right angle, a 90 degree angle. Now the relationship between their gradients is that they are the that they are sorry the negative reciprocal of each other. Now negative reciprocal means negative one on the gradient of the other line. So for example, the gradient of line one, the one that is sloping up here, will equal negative one on the gradient of line two that's sloping down. Okay, let's now go ahead and. Uh, practice both of these concepts with this example on the right hand side. We are told that line A has a gradient of 2, so this line here, line A, so the gradient of line A is equal to 2. And we are asked to determine the gradients of line B and C. So B is parallel to A and C is perpendicular to A. Now we're not, we're not necessarily sure looking at this that they are, but let's just assume it for the sake of this question. So this here is perpendicular and these two here are parallel. Okay, let's firstly start with the easy one, the gradient of line B. So the gradient of line B, because line B is parallel to line A, the gradient of line B will equal the gradient of line A. So therefore this will equal the gradient of line A. So therefore, the gradient of line B is going to equal two. Let's now have a look at line C. Line C is perpendicular to line A. Using this relationship here, the negative reciprocal, we can say that the gradient of line C will equal negative one on the gradient of line A, the negative reciprocal of its perpendicular line. So therefore, the gradient of line C will be equal to negative one on, the gradient of line A was two, so therefore this will be two. So there we have it, that completes that example. Just to recap, parallel lines have equal gradients, perpendicular lines, negative reciprocal gradients of each other. And that concludes our video on parallel and perpendicular gradients of linear lines.